Hey YouTube, it's me, Epic Neon Studios. I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to add a fire effect in Adobe After Effects, like I did in my fire test video, which is right here on my desktop. Um, first of all, you have to open Adobe After Effects and file. import file. It will take you to all the different files you can import. I'm going to go to libraries, videos, and this file, which is the original file I used in the fire test video. I'm going to open it. And it should pop up over here in the project window. Now you take it down, and you see that little button just to the left of 8 BPC. You want to you want to drag it and drop it onto that button. Creates a new comic. That's our video. Just scrubbing through it. It may look a little stupid when you first start out with it, but the finished product actually looks pretty good. So, what we want to do is just drag that partially off screen, find the fire video. We're looking for effects on black because it's easy to add into your video. Norm. So what we want to do is find the place where I wave my hand out like that. Right there. And it's just good five seconds into the video. Now we're going to drag the fire video onto the timeline and line up those two yellowish thumb things that you see moving around there. Now drop it. There it is. When you scrub through it, nothing comes up because the fire video is under the base layer. So what we want to do is take fire and drag it on top of the base layer. And now that will come up when we scrub through it. Now the reason we want it on black is go to mode right here, the blending mode, set it to add, and that creates a composite on the original. So now you want to take this little speck of fire right here and drag it over to my hand. This isn't going to be as good as the actual video I posted as it's just a quick tutorial. Now scrubbing through it. Looks good. Size out right before I snap my hand shut. Now we want to do the same thing with the other side. Do it to about 20 seconds. 20.1 seconds. And then drag fire down again. Line up the two little thumbs. Drag fire to the top. Set the blending mode to add. Now, once again, we want to take that little spark flame and 
put it in my hand. Sorry it's all pixelated, but then slap snapping my hand closed and then turning off the camera. Um to make it a little more realistic, one thing you want to do is go under here, modes, actually switches, and enable motion blur on the base layer. So now it will look a little more realistic. Um, for environmental glow, I mean, you don't really have to do anything here because of this particular shot. The light is coming at me from two directions, the right and the left. So that's really pretty good. I didn't have to edit that. But if you're using a different shot or it's dark out, you will have to edit an environmental glow in order to create a lifelike appearance. And I got these effects from detonationfilms.com um, under the free stuff page. They have several effects there, um, like explosions, fire, smoke, and I'll provide a link there in the description. Also, you should check out my site, lcry-g.tk, because I'll be posting some more advanced tutorials on there. And really, that's all for now. I'll show you how to export it in the next video. Thanks for watching.